The Supreme Court Institute's providing the last formal dress rehearsal before a lawyer appears in the Supreme Court of the United States. We're doing it as a service to the court and to provide an educational opportunity for students. And because everybody knows we're nonpartisan, that we're as likely to move one side as the other, everybody's comfortable with that. We are affecting almost every case that goes into argument. Somebody in that case has been mooted here ahead of time. The room you're in, the carpeting is the same carpeting that's at the Supreme Court. The lectern is the distance from the bench as it is at the court, so you're creating a very realistic environment. We are a law center and we are located in a law city. The lawyers who are attempting to get them ready are experienced practitioners who are t attempting to figure out what questions are likely to be asked by the court. No fees are charged. We don't want to make this program outside the reach of any lawyer, particularly public interest lawyers who wouldn't have the financial wherewithal to do it. Everybody in the first year of law school attends one of the Supreme Court Institute moots. And one of us will go into the class ahead of time and tell them what it's about, and then they can go to the argument. Some of the most important cases of the day have gone through the Supreme Court, and our students have seen moots of those cases. We are essentially mirroring the entire set of cases that are being argued before the court term in, term out. We couldn't be better situated if we wanted to, so our students very easily can go to the court and see an argument after they watch one of these moods. It's an extraordinary experience. So being in there, it was a lot like seeing Michael Jordan uh, practice before the big finals game, so uh, it was, uh, you know, can't underestimate the experience. You could tell that this council was uh, prepared well by the Institute back, uh, back at Georgetown. It was interesting to see which justices would ask what and what their reactions were to certain answers that we kind of had expected from both class and the middle. Over the course of the year, we have term previews. We have a term preview for the press. Irv Gornstein is the executive director. Dory Bernstein is the director. What they have is the absolute talent and art at picking the right people for a given case. They're fabulous, they work tirelessly. Before he became Solicitor General of the United States, Don Verrilli appeared both as an advocate and as a judge. Paul Clement is the senior research fellow for the Supreme Court Institute. He's the leading member of the Supreme Court Bar at this point. The Chief Justice, before he went on the bench, mooted his cases and was a justice at the Supreme Court Institute. There's a value in having a law center this close to what is actually going on every day at this level. And that's special because the court's special. The Law Center and Supreme Court Institute are providing a great public service to the nation. It's improved the advocacy before the court. And to have Georgetown plugged in that way is an extraordinary achievement by the Law Center.